Hey guys, it's Malak and we are back. Uh, I did a ton of grinding. I did pretty much oppor every opportunity that I had available so that I could unlock some stuff so we can get a better spawn. So we're gonna start in the kitchen. Cause to get the virus and to do what we want, we have to eventually isolate the uh, hospital director. I think that's all right. So here we go. Let's get this one over with. I always like, cause the camera like flips it. So if I'm ever wearing a shirt that has words or a graphic, you guys can read it the right way. But it like messes with my mind when I'm trying to like interact with the camera and see like what direction things are going in. Anyway, there's zero sugar in this, but it's still got the same great Coke taste. I did end up watching Blade Runner. It was nice. Still love uh, Roy's monologue at the end. It's pretty great. I'm not sure, I heard somewhere that it was improvised, but I don't know if that's true. What? Wait a minute, please don't do this to me. <laughs> Is that guy just gonna notice us every time? Maybe I just gotta blend in and then wait until he turns around. Yeah, I watched that, and I also watched a movie called By Bust. I think it was a Filipino film. Oh, of course, there are two noticers. Shoot! Mm, what am I supposed to do? Dang it. Got to figure this out. Um, I guess it was in like a independent film contest or something like that. In, I think it was Manila. And they like accused them of corruption because they were knocked out in the first round. It was a really good uh, film, especially like considering some of its origins. Like I, I can't recall. I mean... I don't know. Is The Raid a Filipino film? It might be. I'll look this up actually right now. The Raid. Someone down. Who's the actor? Is that Tony Jaw? No. IMDB needs to really work on their user interface and design. World premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. country Indonesia so that's an Indonesian film um, I don't know I just can't really put my finger on a lot of Filipino movies that I've seen and this one is pretty good like unfortunately the female protagonist didn't sell a lot of her fights very well like they had some cool choreography they had some 
interesting ideas, but she didn't sell. Like, there's one fight, and it sucks, because the lighting in the whole movie, they had so many beautiful colors, beautiful scenes. It was outrageous, but I think it was outrageous for... For a reason. Stop that. Son of a... I think it was outrageous for a reason. Because of some of the themes within the film. Bad some great action, great characters, great ideas. Unfortunately, some of her fights, it like you could it just felt very fake. And it didn't seem like there are a couple scenes where it was like very clear that her hand was very far away or she was moving slowly but the person was just firing backwards as if they had been hit by a car and it was it's a little weird in those I wish they had maybe redone some of those scenes more times until they got it to look visceral like a lot of the other scenes in the film it is a pretty violent film so if that's something that you don't really like seeing should probably avoid that. Now, sorry, I'm trying to focus so hard because I don't want to restart because things are going so well considering. Usually, Yes. Come on. Come on, stupid hitman. Get it. There we go. I'm looking a little suspicious holding the knife like that. I feel like you should hold it maybe facing forwards. wonder if I can get him to come downstairs. Come on. No. Frick. See what that does. Yeah, keep getting the soldier. We are the executive protection team. We're well trained, we're fearless, and we do what it takes to protect the client. Mr. Jason Paul. Please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor. So I think I I might be able to do this if I don't get noticed. I mean, I'm pretty sure he eats a snack from there. I could be wrong. That'd be really bad if I just wasted the poison. Which situation? I don't know if that's a freak accident. Oh, the Fugu guy.
Come on, director, have a little snack. This might work. Ooh, this game forced me to stealth, but I think we're gonna be all right. <laughs> please, 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 please. Phew. Man, now we can do whatever we want. Man, what if I die now? <laughs> uh. Oh, wait, yeah, it doesn't even matter if I kill that guy anymore, huh? Oh, shoot. Well, I guess at least I uh, thinned out a lot of the enemies. Died happy, doing what they loved. DDR. <laughs> Come so far. Sayonara. I don't even care, Mrs. Burnwood or whatever your name is. Mission accomplished. See, most of mine are like level 3 or 
even four if I got lucky and accidentally did a lot of challenges. I was at level 12 <laughs> on this map when I started it this time because I just went back and was grinding on this level so many times just so I could get enough points to start in the kitchen because oh my gosh it restarting when they just like even notice you they're like oh you're acting kind of weird boom it's over <sighs> it forced me to play the game probably a little bit how it's supposed to be for like that first half and then I just did whatever I want and that's how I like it but maybe it was good for for you guys to see that I can Hitman a little bit the way it's supposed to be. Um, thank you for watching this play Hitman series and this video. Um, I'll be uh, choosing which game I play next, so keep an eye out for whatever I do choose. Thank you so much and take care.